Hi everyone, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Um, also, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've kind of just been busy lately with like uh, my research for grad school and kind of uh, working on other stuff. Um, so yeah, sorry I haven't made any videos in a while. But uh, yeah, I thought today I'd make a video about um, about a useful tip that uh, I think is, um, it's not really specific to computational biology, but I think it's useful for Python programming in general. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, get a sound alert when a program is finished running. Um, so this is useful because I know when you're like learning programming for the first time, um, usually the programs will run in like uh, in like less than a second and they'll all be like really fast and you don't have to ever worry about like long runtime or anything. But when you get to like start working on real projects, um, a lot of times the programs actually take a pretty long time to run. So for example, like there's actually... Um, on my lab computer on campus right now, there's actually a program running on there that's been running for a couple days already, um, simulating uh, colonies of cells. And so that's kind of like an extreme example, but like a more intermediate length example would be like uh, a, a program could take like um, 20 minutes or like 40 minutes or an hour to run. So in a case like that, um, it can be really useful, I think, to get like a sound alert when the program is finished. So that way you can uh, multitask if you want to and kind of like work on something else while you're waiting for the program to uh, finish running. Um, so you might want to be like reading a paper or like just working on something else or maybe like watching Netflix or something. And then you can get this like nice sound alert when the program is uh, finished to, to let you know. Um, okay, so to start with, I'm just going to write, um, I'm going to write a program that will take a couple seconds to run. So this will just be kind of like something arbitrary. It'll just uh, take a while to finish running. So um, say for i in range 200 and then a nested for loop for j in range 200 and then another nested for loop for k in range 200. And then remember, this is all just like kind of meaningless. I'm just writing something arbitrary to It'll take a little while to run. Then we'll just store the product in uh, in some variable x. So this will just take a couple seconds to run, and then um, it'll be useful to get um, an alert when this is finished. So I'll show you guys the uh, the way to get the alert first. So look on here. So there's this Easter egg in Python. Um, that's kind of like a cool a cool trick to know. So if you print the string um, slash 007, so 007 like James Bond, um, if you print this, uh, I'll let you guys hear it. Did you hear that noise just now? Um, and then we can also we can also combine it uh, to to play a couple times. So if I have a program that I think will take like more than a couple seconds to run, if it's going to be taking like a couple minutes or like even a couple hours or something, I'll usually put this um, on the end so that I can like do something else while it's running and then hear this like sound alert to let me know when it's finished. So um, I'll, I'll let you guys see how this works now. Okay, so we can have our program running and then we can be like reading a paper or doing something else or whatever we want to do. Yeah, reading a paper. Okay, then we get the alert and, uh, and then we know it's finished. Um, okay, so that's kind of like a, a quick lesson today, just kind of like a cool, useful trick that um, I use a lot and you guys might also uh, find helpful if you have like programs that are running that are taking a long time. Um, so that's it for today. Um, also, I just want to say thanks to you guys for uh, watching my videos and subscribing and stuff. Um, I have like 40 subscribers now, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but um, I think it's really cool. And I think it's a lot because 40 people is already more than I've ever tutored on this stuff in person before. The number of people I've taught programming to in person, like in real life, is prob probably like 20 or so. So if like 40 people are watching these videos and finding them helpful, then that's already more people than I've ever tutored on uh, computer programming in real life. So I think it's it's pretty cool to be, even though it doesn't, sound, it doesn't really sound like a lot, I think it's cool having like uh, that many people 
hopefully like finding these videos useful and helpful. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thanks to you guys for watching and, uh, and, uh, see you next time.